Rock letters are letters constructed in squares of uniform thickness, which means that we cannot construct any alphabet without ruling squares. So the first thing we do is to how to what get the squares before we construct the alphabet. So the measurement we'll be using per square will be one centimeter. So as I'm doing, I'm going to mark one centimeter. So one centimeter is from zero to one. So that is the measurement per square. Zero to one. So on zero, I have a point. Then I'll, I'll draw a straight line, vertical line. I'll mark the, another point. I'll mark another one at two. And I'll mark another one at three. And then the last one will be at five. So I have one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll move. I'll ensure that on my horizontal axis, I draw a straight line with the same measurement. So I have one here. I'll mark these points. So that's a straight line. I'll mark the point. Join the points with a straight line. I'm not just feeling lines. The lines coordinate with the point and it measures one centimeter. So I will get the horizontal lines through the point I have already indicated. So that is one vertical line. That is another. Another one. So, to label the squares, you need five squares and then three squares. So, you have five horizontal squares against five vertical squares against three horizontal squares, and then this will be a space. This is just a space in between the alphabet. So, for the second one, I have one, two, this will be a space. One, two, three. Alright. So this is what I want everybody to do. Draw these continuous squares in your books. Then you have to construct the alphabet inside these squares. Again, I said by the time you are done with the ruling of the squares, you make sure that you label them. For most of the alphabet, you need these five against three squares but some complex alphabets such as M M M W I and then um, M W I those alphabets will demand for five squares on the vertical axis and then five squares on the horizontal axis so you let's start with these simple ones. That's the first five alphabet. I have A, B, C, D, E. All right. 
So I'll start with A. You indicate a point here, you indicate another one here, another point here, another one here. Then you join the points together with a diagonal line like this. Then you join these points together with diagonal lines. So when that is done, you indicate another point over here, another one over here. You join those two points at the apex. And at this stage, you draw broken lines in a vertical, in a diagonal manner from those two points I indicated earlier to touch this point. So we'll do a reverse of the broken line from this point. Note that it's from this point to touch this one. So diagonal line, you can make it faint line. I am using broken line so that it will be visible enough for you to see and then you do same. All right, so you mark where those two faint or broken lines intersected. So that is the point I have marked it over here. And then you have to trace from this point over here to the middle of this one. So you divide this on the second square on the vertical axis that is on four you divide this one into two and then you come here you do same you divide this one also into two so at this stage you can see that the alphabet alphabet a has been constructed even though it has some parts looking like a skeleton so I'll trace those so I'll trace the broken lines with a straight line making it visible and then I'll join the second one so at this stage we constructed our first alphabet which is A so we can decide to shade the alphabet with what diagonal lines so that it will stand out from those constructed lines so I hope you can see how I constructed the first one so we have alphabet A okay so like I said this is a space this one is a space between the alphabet this over here that's a space make sure you observe it you leave a space when you are doing yours all right so um the second alphabet here is what b so with alphabet b given the shape of that alphabet it means that we'll have to construct x x yeah, you will not use a compass to do that we are going to use our coin over here you can see that this is a currency that is our 50 pesos coin so we'll be using this coin to draw the axe so i'm sure everybody can get, get a coin, coin at home get a coin any denomination one cd uh, 50 pesos 20 pesos all right so we'll begin with the axe you put your coin inside this this point this is the first point and then there's another point here there's a point here mark indicate them so you put the coin in between that particular square and then you draw an arc to touch those points you have marked you do a reverse form of it so you draw an arc to touch it and then when you come to this line you divide this line into two with a faint or broken line and then you push the coin over here you draw you draw an arc and then you raise it up you draw another arc to touch that broken line 
So at this stage, we will move on to the inner squares. Over here, I don't want you to struggle. So just use your free hand to draw an arc to touch this line. And then you draw another one to touch it on this line. So you do the same thing here. You draw an arc. You draw another one here. So when this this is done, you join the arcs together with a straight line. So that is alphabet B, so we shade it so that it will stand out from the construction lines. So we have left another space here, that's a space here, that's a space. If you don't leave or if you don't observe that gap, it means that the next alphabet will be joined to the, the second alphabet. And when that is done, it means that it will be wrong. So make sure you leave a space in between each of the alphabet. So the next one is what alphabet? C. So again, given the shape of alphabet C, you have to draw X. Not do without these acts. So you draw the acts. Then you divide this square into two with a faint or broken line. You do same here with a faint or broken line. So you join that line together to join the, the arc with a straight line. Okay. So at this stage, you draw smaller arcs with your free hand to touch this line. You draw the arcs. To touch the Alphabet C with diagonal lines. So that is it. So I'll move on to the fourth alphabet. Um, I don't have any more free squares, so I need to construct some squares quickly to make up for the fourth and the fifth alphabet. Alright, so I'll just extend the lines. Already it is one centimeter per square. We did that right from the start of the lesson. Alright, so I will label the squares. Don't forget that's another space which will separate C from D. Okay, so I'll move on quickly on to the fourth alphabet, which is alphabet D. All right, so I'll draw an arc. Then I'll draw another one below. So 
So I'll join the abs together with a straight line. And then I'll use my bare hands to draw another arc here. And then another one here. I'll join the arcs together with a straight line. So when that is done, the last thing you do is to what? To shade the alphabet. The essence of doing that is to ensure that the alphabet stands out freely from the construction lines. So that you will see the true contour or the outlines of the alphabet that has been constructed. Alright, so... Um, We'll leave a space then I'll move on to the fifth alphabet and that will be what alphabet E so I'll join the lines to my vertical lines I'll just extend the horizontal lines So I'll leave this gap as a space, and then I'll leave the same here. So the remaining squares will be used to construct alphabet E. Note again that given the shape of alphabet E, we will not make do with the coin. So we'll just indicate point and then we'll join the points together divide this square and that into two we'll mark this one we'll mark here we'll mark here we'll mark the place then we'll join the lines together with the straight line. we'll join them together So that is E. We use the diagonal lines to shade the alphabet to ensure that it stands out freely from the construction line. So that is how alphabets are constructed in squares. That is block lettering. So we have constructed A, alphabet B, alphabet C. D and E. So your assignment will be to construct the first five alphabets in block letters. And this is how you go. This is what you do. You first draw the lines, the vertical lines and the horizontal lines. You ensure that each of the squares will measure one centimeter exactly. And then you can make it long continuous lines that is in the case of the horizontal lines and then you label the lines when you get the squares make sure you observe the intervals or the spaces in, in, in lettering it is known as what spacing spacing is the method of what leaving intervals or gaps in between alphabets during construction all right so your homework will be to construct the first five alphabets in block letters so that is it thank you for your time and then see you same time 
next week. Bye bye. So the point indicates the one centimeter measurement. So I'll draw another vertical line. So the, the, those points I have marked will help me to what? Draw continuous horizontal lines through the vertical lines I am drawing. The number of vertical lines I am ruling will be based on the task at hand, that is if you are constructing the first 10 alphabets that will differ from somebody who is constructing the first 5 alphabets. So I'm ruling my continuous vertical lines and when I'm done I will join the point with continuous horizontal lines. To enable me to create the squares before the actual construction starts. Make sure that the lines are very straight because if they are not straight it means that the constructed alphabet will be affected. The shape of that alphabet will be affected. So make ensure that the rule is straight, is placed or positioned in such a way that it is very straight. So <clears throat> my squares are ready. Don't forget it's the same thing. Construction of the first five. So you know them A, B, C, D, and then E. All right. So um, we have the squares ready. We we'll label the squares with numbers. On the vertical axis, I have labeled them using figures one to five, and then on the horizontal axis, I'll label them again. With figures one to three so the fourth one is only a space I will leave in between the constructed alphabet so I'll move on to the second alphabet this will be a space I'll move on to the third alphabet this one again will be a space I'll move on to the fourth one Again, this will be a space. I've told you that the process of observing intervals or gaps in between letters during construction is known as what? Spacing. So note that. Note that. All right. So with this particular one, forgive me, I'm going to change the the media I'm using. I was using a pen. I'm, I'm, I'm switching to what? A marker. So that at least some of us may have challenges with our vision. So that they will also benefit from what I'm teaching. Okay, so then we we'll draw 
Diagonal line. Alright. So we repeat the same process for the second, for the first one. We draw a diagonal line, diagonal line from this point to touch this place. And then we do a reverse. We draw another diagonal line from this point to catch this one. So, since you'll be using pencils, just draw faint lines. I'm using a marker, so I have to be very careful. Alright, so I'll do a reverse of it. Okay, so this is the point where the two broken lines intersected. So I'll trace those lines with a straight line. You ensure that that this second square over here is divided into two, and then you make sure that you draw that triangular shape right on top of. To sit on that line, you you divided the square width. And then you do the same here. The square <coughs> label two, you divide that square into two with a faint line or broken line. And then you trace half of that square out with a straight line. So that is it. Um, the A is ready. Um, I'm going to change it. I'm going to use dots. To shade the alphabet. Alright, so that is done. Quickly, I'll move on to the second alphabet. You observe a space. You leave a space. So given the nature of the second alphabet, we will use the coin again. This one has a round outline or contour which will help us in the construction of an arc in the squares. So you place the square, the coin in between the square. You ensure that it touches the ends of that particular square. And you draw an arc through to join the ends. And then you divide this one, let me use um, the pen, you divide the square into two with a faint line. You push the coin to touch the line and then the end of that square and you do same to the upper part of the same line. So at this juncture, I will join the arcs together with a straight line <coughs> so I'll move on to the inner squares and then I'll construct arcs in those squares okay so at this stage we have the skeletal form of the alphabet which is at 80% completion we we'll join the arcs together with straight lines. We we'll concentrate on the inner squares. Then we'll do the same by joining them with lines. Alright, so that is B. I'll shade them with dots. I'll shade the alphabet B with, with dots. Or oh, you decide. You can use lines. You can use vertical line you decide it depends on you all right <coughs> so quickly i'll move on to the third alphabet and of course it will also demand for the coin so you draw the axe inside those squares <coughs> Then you join the arcs together with a straight line. 
drawing this one to, to the, together with a straight line. Um, as we did with the first one, you divide the square into two. You do same here. Then you join those lines to the arc with a straight line. And over here, our concentration will be on the inner squares. You draw X again through to touch that line. So, alphabet C is ready. A space we we'll move on to alphabet D. We'll draw an arc, we'll draw another one here. We'll join the arcs together with a straight line, then we'll, we'll draw arcs to join the inner squares. Join the house together with a straight line. Alright. So I'll join the house together with a straight line. And then I'll shade it with dots. To ensure that the alphabet stands out with fresh lines, so that is that is D. So we are left with the last one. We are short of squares, so I have to draw some lines to enable us to get squares for the last alphabet. So the last one is will be alphabet B. E, sorry, E. So just mark these points. I have six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And all we need to do is to join the points together with straight lines. And we'll get our B. We'll get our E. It's as easy as as that. All right, so it's at about eighty-five percent complete. So again, we have the first five alphabets nicely constructed. And I want you to do the same thing in your sketch parts. So that will be your homework. Construct these alphabets and then you take a shot of it with either mommy's phone or daddy's phone. You send it to my whatsapp number so i'll write my whatsapp number here zero two four six eight two thirty nine seventy two so do the same thing and then take a picture of it and send it to my number zero two four six eight two three nine seven two for five alphabets to be two marks 
marks each. So in all, it will be 10 marks. Thank you for making time to join us. See you soon time again.